Hello everybody, my name is Xavierman1017 and I'm here today to provide you with some entertaining video gaming footage of a sort, you know. I'm playing a game which some people might find entertaining, some people might not. It's a very creative game, it's very similar to Minecraft, and many people have gone so far as to call it Minecraft in Space. And by when I say many people, I mean of the people who first see it, they call it Minecraft in Space. But this game is much, much more than that. It's called Blockade Runner, currently in Alpha, made by Zan Management, the Six Sibling Studio, a software, sorry, a gaming development I think that's the term gaming development group can't really say company can I I don't I don't know they're they're a group of six people the six sibling studio who make video games and um, this is their first real video game they previously worked on the Warcraft vs Starcraft mod I think it was called I never actually played that but I hear it's good and now they're working on Blockade Runner which is a voxel based space simulation game which will allow its players to build customize and operate spaceships to their heart's content and this is something I'm looking forward to currently there's not much you can do the solo and the multiplayer aren't exactly fleshed out as well as we'd all hope but there is always the opportunity for building ships which is what I'm going to be doing today uh, for a while now I have wanted to build a really big ship and I thought well I'm going to so why don't I build it for you guys pretty much I'm going to start building a ship and I'm going to build it for you guys. Now, generally, when I first build a ship, I build a line out, and that will give me about like the rough length of what I want it to be. If I want to say build a hundred meter long ship, or a kilometer long ship, or a two kilometer long ship, I haven't actually built many of those, then I will generally put a line out that far and build to it. But today I am just going to work on little bit by little bit. And I want to start off with the engines, as I always do. I always like to get the propulsion going, so that I know, you know, just the engines are one of the most important parts. I like to get all the basic structure that you require for a ship to operate going before you actually start building the ship itself. Because otherwise, you're just going to try and fit all this stuff inside what you already have, and it's just going to look terrible. So you build all the structure you need, and then you build the uh, pretty stuff. So just before I was actually trying to film this but then apparently the game doesn't like it when I place uh, big engines which is like not just me saying engines that are big no I mean like it's an actual prefab and it's crashed my game it crashed game and I do actually have the footage from that but there's really no point showing you that because well pff, it didn't get anything done this is the design I I thought about when I was doing that what's that one two three four five yep uh, make this a little thicker just because I can bring this down four one two three three um, and four so now that should be ten and it's a giant H shape or an I shape depending on which way you look at it it's it's entirely up to you how you look at it no 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 I wanted it to go that way, yes. The uh, rotating is not particularly good, and the grid is annoying me, so I'm going to turn it off so I can find it. There it goes. Turn off the grid. Voila. Now, I'm feeling a little paranoid, so I'm going to, first of all, save the ship as... I don't know, I'm going to call it the Super Mega... That's not how you spell Mega. Mega awesome ship of destiny and coolness. There we go. Super mega awesome ship of destiny and coolness. Beat that name. Seriously, beat it. Alright, now I'm a little paranoid so I'm going to see if I can place a big engine without it crashing and if it crashes, then I'm going to have to avoid using big engines, but I really want to use them because they look pretty awesome. Alright, I'm going in. I'm ready. And if it crashes, well then, I'm prepared. No, no, it didn't crash. Maybe it was... I don't know. I was ghosting before, so maybe if I ghost now... No, it can place it. I don't know why it crashed my game before. Well, that's, um, that's good news, I suppose. It just means that in future, I can try and place these, and if they, uh, crash my game again, well then, 
what can I do? But I will continue on the thruster pods thingies. And I think that this episode will only go for about eh, 10, 20 minutes. Maybe 10, 15, actually. Because, you know, there's really only so much you can get up to. And I want to do this in parts and make it a series because, well, I can, essentially. Uh, if you came here looking for humor, uh, I'm sorry, I really am, but... Focusing, I've got my tongue out, I've got my focusing look on. Uh, I can be funny. I can be very, very funny. But often, my humor is based on the circumstances I'm in. Now, in layman's terms, that means I'm funny in certain situations. So, if you've seen my warband videos, you notice that those give me a lot of opportunity to be funny, or sometimes none at all, depending on the actual video and what's going on. And this is just me building, so if you're into seeing big builds of that sort, then... What does that look like? That kind of... I thought it looked like a pair of hands for a second there. I don't know why, but I did. Uh, as I was saying, this is just building. If you came here looking for building, you're in the right place. If you're looking for an awesome new space game that you might want to try out, because there aren't a lot out there, then you also come to the right place, which is pretty good. Now, I have a big box, and want to fill it up. I, I really want to fill it up. Question is, uh, I'm going to have big engines. Should I bring it back? Should I extend it out to about, oh, I don't know, here or something? Should I do that? Maybe a little longer so it fits in well with the proportions? Should I have engines inside it? Should I have... I don't know what I should have inside it. I have a lot of stuff and I don't know how much machinery I can fit in there. I mean, I can fit a lot in there, but how much is actually necessary, you know? You don't really put more in than you have to. Uh, I have a feeling that it would be pretty awesome if I brought it out here, so I'm going to do that. Oh, I love the autosave feature. Before they actually um, implemented the autosave feature here in Blockade Runner, there would be awkward moments where the game might crash, and it was a development build, and we'd lose all the hard work we did, and that's just not pleasant. Uh, I've been playing Blockade Runner for a while, actually. I discovered it when I googled rather to my shame at the moment, uh, Minecraft in space, because I was looking for all sorts of Minecraft mods, and I figured, well, you know, uh, I like space. Uh, I thought maybe I could build, like, an adventure map or something, and uh, I wanted some sort of space mod, because I thought it would be cool. And I, I went and Googled it, and I found this. Actually, I found a, uh, I can't remember what it was. It was one of those gaming sites, one of those gaming magazine sites, like, uh, I don't even know if magazine is the right term, but I found something saying that Blockade Runner, not just Minecraft in space, and I thought, let me look at this. So I followed the link, and I found it, and I bought it, pretty much. <laughs> it was pretty cool, actually. Rightio, I think this bit... Yeah, we can't just have it, like, go flush with that. It has to come out here a little bit more. I've, I've no idea what I'm doing. I'm making this up as I'm going along. I literally have no idea what I'm doing. And I can alter the design uh, later. I have what is essentially giant space penis going on here. <laughs> what a weirdo I am. Now, I was thinking, this bit here, that fills up. Right? Fill that up. Uh, I was also thinking before, when I was just trying this, before my game crashed, when I tried a big engine doing exactly this, save, save, just in case, uh, save so my super mega awesome ship of destiny and greatness is not destroyed, and, oof, it's very difficult to, ooh, that actually fits rather well, doesn't it? Um, you know, Maybe, just maybe, this, that actually fits in perfectly. Well, not perfectly, because it's not snug, but it's got like, um, one space going on. This means I can put like a wall here, have the engine here, and then have all sorts of things ready to run the engine behind it. But will one of these engines be enough to propel the ship? I don't know. Might have to build additional engine pods, but now that I know that works, I think it might be a good idea to have a doorway going into there. I'll just map out the rough idea of where I want the doorway to go. If I have the doorway... Now, I don't like it having right next to the wall, because the wall's going to be there. Uh, there. That works. And I think I will have... Um, catwalk or something, uh, coming down, going down here, and then all sorts of computers and 
bits and bobs and gadgets and shit going on here. I, I don't know, I'm, I'm figuring it out. Oh, has it been ten minutes already? Would you look at that? Started at 3.33, it's now 3.43. Well, there you go. Thank God my microphone isn't muted, that would be awkward. Okay, okay. So I shall put the wall there. I've got a sizable amount of room for stuff. And lots of lots of stuff. Uh, I've got a lot of headroom here. I can't just use the floor because then I'll have a lot of room up here. I'm thinking maybe I can use some energy cells, some fuel cells. I don't know. I'll figure it out as I go. Now I want to put the engine in here. Because I'm uber paranoid about these things, I think I'm just going to save before I put the engine in there. Oh, these, placing these is just black magic, I swear. Okay, there we go. I've locked the direction. Is that perfect? Oh, that's beautiful. That's perfect. Fits in there perfectly well. Look at that. Look at that. It's a bit long, though. I mean, this thing is a bit long. Maybe I'll... Hmm. I'm thinking, what if I cut little veins into this? Let me, uh, bear with me, I'll show you what I'm talking about. If I cut two in from there... Oh, no, nope, no. Nope, I... I want to use the frame. I said the frame. Oh, that's a um, that's a bug when you use the V key to uh. Ah, oh, bloody stop it! There we go. That fixed it. Okay, so if I cut these in like this, and I cut another one here like this, I do that on all four sides. How does that look? It might look shit. It might not. We'll see. Oh, that was perfect right there. Would you look at that? How awesome am I? That was a perfect slice. It it might look crap, it might not. I'll I'll play around with ideas. I might move this forward a little bit. None of this is permanent just yet. Uh I'll play around with the ideas later. But yeah. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. If uh you're into a game which is kind of just like an alpha stage at the moment and you don't mind waiting a little bit for awesome gameplay features and you like uh, having your creative side that kind of looks crap from the outside it's all boxy Ooh, I think I might move the engine forward a little bit I, d I don't know I'll yeah let's move the engine forward a little bit but as I was saying if you're into a game that lets you ply your creative talents and build ships that are going to become fully functional and awesome and have awesome space battles one day, then this game is certainly for you. Uh, I can't really get people into it because I've tried to get people into this and not everyone is as patient as I am and I'm not particularly patient myself. And not everyone I know is into space games as much as I am. And if they are, they want them to look really awesome and to be just freaking, just, you know, the bee's knees, the, sh the shiznit. Okay... Radio, so awkward moment, it crashed my game, and it kind of crashed the ship. But fortunately, since I saved it, I still have it here. I'm just going to load it. Where is it? It's down here somewhere. Super Mega Awesome Ship of Destiny and Coolness by XavierMan117. Yes, just remove my little block, my 2x2x2 two by two by two block. I don't want that. Hit OK. Yes, voila. Loaded Super Mega Awesome Ship of Destiny and Coolness. Is it crappy little veins? Alright, apparently it didn't save all of my progress. Oh well. That's fine. Yes, I wanted to override this ship. Okay, so I'll just fill these in like I was before. Alright, before I move any of these things, I am definitely. I repeat, definitely saving because these things have crashed my game s several times and I do not like them as a result, but they are big and that's why I'm using them. Well, that is just... That is big. Alright, so... Um, right, so it crashed my game again, which means I am definitely not using those engines again. Ever. Never, ever, ever. 
Actually, when I get an update, I will probably, probably, possibly, maybe, I don't know, use them. That is not my ship. I've accidentally loaded the wrong ship, though it looks pretty awesome. Look at that. That's a pretty awesome looking ship. I have no idea whose ship this is, though it's pretty wicked. This looks kind of like a bug. Anyway, what am I doing? Um, yeah, there you go. Super Mega Awesome Ship of Destiny and Coolness. Load. Um, oh, there it is. That was awkward. I thought I'd lost it. So you're probably asking, Simon, how do you lose a ship in the middle of space? I just did. But then I found it. So it's all good. It was lost, and then it was found. Right. So. Engine. I hate you. You can die. Which means I now have a lot of space left over in these pods for engines, and I don't know what I'm going to stick there. I don't want to use the old thruster blocks, just a whole row of those, a whole you know, massive fill layer of those, because that'll just look probably kind of crap. Then again, the ship I just looked at kind of had them as well, so... But I mean, it's kind of just square. What I have here is kind of just square, and I just had an idea. What if I make them a little less square, at least at the back? What if I make them, I don't know, diamond shape or something? You know, let's, let's try that. Um, if I do that, do that, I do that, and that, and that. I go up here, and I do the same thing. I get a diamond effect. Uh-huh. Then I'll do the same thing here. Three, then two, then one. Then I pass on the effect here. This could take a little while, so... Patience, patience, my young Padawans. Patience. Well, this looks so much better already. This looks looks pretty good. But remember, I can use multiple rows. Otherwise, I'm going to be using one line by one line. That's going to take ages. The good thing is, since I'm using a symmetry tool, it's being done exactly the same way on the other side. Oh, that looks that looks better. I'm thinking that I'll probably keep the uh, the front end as it is, and then just work on some sort of transition from square to diamond, and that'll probably be a pain in the absolute ass. Oh goodness gracious. The things I do for science and shipbuilding. Yep. Then again, this is what this is what launched my corporation. This is what launched Xavier Industries. I've placed one too many blocks, haven't I? Nope. No, I'm fine. Ah. Nope. Yes, I have now. Uh, if you're completely new and you're just watching this, uh, yes, you already know I'm Xavier Man One Seventeen. Uh, that name originally actually came from Blockade Runner. I uh, used that name, and that was sort of like my idea. It, it stuck. I used it for everything after that. Okay, uh, what do I want to do? I want to... When does the, uh, where does the... Oh, I need to ghost. Okay, so where does the thingy come out? Need a little mark. There we go. So that will be the mark of where I need to stop. Let's make it more noticeable. Alright, and bring it this way. As I was saying, uh, this game is where I founded Xavier Industries, which is a shipbuilding company. I just simply wanted a, a name for my show off the ships I've made. Show off the shit. The ships. Uh, hold on. There you go. Sh uh, to show off the ships I'd made, and I figured that since I was Xavier Man 117, Xavier Industries would probably be appropriate. So there you go. So to all the people who are watching who are wondering, oh, where'd you come up with that name? Why is it Xavier Industries, man? I mean, like, why are you Xavier Man 117? I just, I just came up with it and it stuck. So there you go. Learn a bit about my history. Okay, I want this gone as well. And ever since then, Xavier Industries has been pretty much the name of any of my corporations in any particular game. It's always my faction. It's always my my team. For example, in my Tekkit series, my company was called Xavier Industries. Still is. I'm blabbing because I'm bored. I blab when I'm bored. You know, you know how it is. 
da 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 it's been about 20 minutes according to my clock so <sighs> doesn't actually look that bad I'll be honest it looks you know what I actually think that it looks pretty good if I just leave the top half there you know it doesn't look all that bad I think that that is probably a good place to leave it and it might not even be a battleship now I'm getting the sort of a uh... oh wait no that's gotta stay there I'm getting a sort of massive cargo cruiser vibe with those engines anyway thank you guys for watching please like this video and subscribe to my channel so you can see more videos like this this will be a series this is going to happen and now that I finally filmed an episode without too many interruptions in this unstable version of blockade runner uh, this series will definitely happen so I'd like to thank you guys again for watching please as I said before like this video subscribe I can't say that enough the more subscribers I get the more content I do and I'll see you later bye bye